Hello everyone, Turmoil 3321 here, and today I'm making a video in response to a video that my friend sent me on Steam about the Photon 2.0 that Austin Evans recently posted. Now, if you know, the original Photon was built, it was designed back in 2014, and I built mine back in uh, mid-August of 2014. And uh, from what you can see, it was a good enough PC for back then, handling games like Battlefield 4 and uh, Bioshock Infinite, all those kind of games. Sorry, that was my weight. Um... But now I see that an upgrade would be needed to keep up with games such as Battlefield 1. As I was trying to do an FPS test, I'll try to get one out uh, a little later uh, when the game comes out. I have to see how that's going to go. But um, what we both had in common, I was, this is basically a response to the video, but I've been doing a lot of research on this card, and it was the exact same one that he recommended, so he kind of beat me to the punch here, which I am not very uh, happy about. I should have made a video about it a long time ago. But it's about the GTX 1060, and I believe this card is definitely the next step upgrade uh, for the Photon right now. So, if you'd see, if I, I, I've been researching this card. Um, you can play, you'll be, uh, the, G, the graphics card will be ready for VR if you're into that kind of stuff. But what, what I noticed when testing the, the um, Battlefield 1 was that uh, if you increase the graphics settings, you basically lower the CPU load. So by putting more load on the graphics card, you're taking the load off of the CPU. So if you had a really good graphics card, which I think the, t the 1060 is good, um, you can p put more of the load on the 1060 and reduce the load off of the, the 760. So the, the CPU will definitely be the bottleneck of the computer, but I think you will still be able to get very good frame rates, at least 60 FPS on like high settings 1080p for modern games today, like Battlefield 1 and all that stuff. CPU usage. If it goes anything higher than that, then then uh, you need to optimize your computer a little more, I think. And I'll be I plan on making a video on how to help you guys optimize your CPU. We're going to be overclocking. We're going to be uh, cleaning up all the crap on your computer that you don't need. Um, on how to how to essentially get every little ounce of performance out of this CPU as you can to get as many frames as you can. All right, and. The, the 1060, from what I've seen, you're going to be spending a little over $200 for, like, a good EVGA model or anything like that. Um, and if you're thinking, oh, that's a little out of my price range, I don't know if I can do that. Uh, what cards I've been looking at right now, like, I think NVIDIA announced... very good upgrade but the, oh by the way the the 1050 is not recommended for vr so if you're into that vr i'd recommend getting at least a uh, gtx uh, 1060 i think it'll be a great upgrade oh one thing else uh, one thing else uh, austin evan uh, talked about was about the uh, the cpu he's talking about an intel core i3 if you I would, if you're upgrading i definitely would recommend intel and he basically made the computer upgradable with uh, the motherboard uh so we can go from three to i5 to i7 and that is a wonderful idea i would definitely take the next step in that by going with the same motherboard and cpu that he did so you can future proof your computer by getting an i5 simply Uh, Civilization 6 coming out very recently. I want to try to get some uh, try to get some uh, footage on that going on. 
But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. And enjoy enjoy your day. Turn my one to one out.